And I will invite all of the children to come up front. And Mr. Jack has a prayer with you this morning. You can come out front here with... Everybody here. When Pam Sherrill and Beth Brown asked me to uh, read a prayer to children, I said only if uh, she could guarantee me a good-sized audience, and she came through. <laughs> of course, she didn't tell me that she was tapping her children to bring <laughs> from California and Philadelphia. But it's really nice to see the Sherrill kids and all of the Fort Street kids here this morning. I actually uh, am thinking about what I was going to say to prayer to you kids. I thought, well, there may be some uh, little children and there may be some older children. So I have two prayers, if you'll indulge me. Um, the first one is a prayer that you kids should say to yourselves uh, often. And this is for the, the little people here. Um, and I'm going to read it as if you're saying it. And if you want this prayer after, uh, you leave here today, I'll get you a copy of it and your parents will give it to you. It's a common prayer we've all heard. It says, Dear God, you made the sun and you made the trees. You made the mountains and you made me. Thank you, O oh God, for the sun and the trees, for making the mountains and for making me. Amen. Uh, one, one more prayer, I think, for the the bigger kids in the group. I know Martin here is one of the bigger ones, right, Martin? Being six now. Um, this is a prayer for students, and I guess you all go to school. God of light and truth, thank you for giving me a mind that can know and a heart that can love. Help me to keep learning every day of my life, for all knowledge leads to you. Let me be aware of your presence in all things and at all times. Encourage me when work is difficult and when I am tempted to give up. Encourage me when my brain seems slow and the way forward is difficult. Grant me the grace to put my mind to use exploring the world you have created confident that in you there is a wisdom that is real. Amen. Thanks, kids. You can go to Miss Judith now, I think. Back to your families. Miss Judith. Some of you know Miss Judith, some of you maybe don't, but here she is, and she will show you what's next. And if you want to stay here, that's okay, too. <laughs> 